Now, all eyes are on U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's diplomatic trip to India. Austin is currently on a two-day visit to discuss a range of bilateral issues with India's Defense Minister Raja Singh. The U.S. Defense Secretary has arrived uh, in India's national capital, New Delhi, after participating at the Shangri-La Summit in Singapore. This is his second visit to India, the last one being in March of 2021. Now, Austin's trip to India comes in a month before Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi heads to an official state visit to the White House. According to reports, both countries are at an advanced stage of talks concerning the joint manufacturing of indigenous jet engines of fighter aircraft. The meeting on Monday will also be used as an opportunity by the U.S., to address concerns over China's growing military hegemony in the region. Now, the uh, surge in U.S.-India diplomatic relations comes at a time when the former has currently locked horns with China over a range of issues, including Washington's support to Taiwan and territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Now, coming back to you, Edward, Lloyd Austin's visit to India comes ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to the U.S. later this month. What is the message given out here? Well, the message uh, from Washington's standpoint is that India remains a, a crucial and highly valued partner for the United States. I think that that's uh, very clear, and I think the Biden administration has never wavered from that. And I, I think the, the focus will be on how to... Uh, advance that cooperation. And in addition, and we should have to mention this, here, of course, is what overshadows all of this, including the relationship uh, with China, is this Russia's unprovoked invasion and very dangerous, including uh, for the global community, not just for the uh, Ukrainian civilians uh, being targeted by Russia, but uh, for the, the global community, including uh, states in Asia and including India. And uh, there's no doubt uh, that the question of uh, India's posture on that war will come up. And we should remember here this question about China, that the war has exposed the China's true face. The, China talks all the time about uh, uh, sovereignty and territorial integrity as absolutely sacred. Well, it turns out it's only sacred when it comes to China, when it comes to, for example, interning one million Muslims in camps in China. But when it comes to the uh, rights of Ukraine, a, a member of the United Nations, and its sovereignty and territorial integrity, of course, China is on Russia's side. And that's also a significant problem for India, because everyone knows that this war, the implications affect Indian citizens, affect the Indian economy and the global economy. And the only way to shorten this war is with unity and intensified pressure on Russia, and that includes isolating China's position here and exposing China as a, a false actor, a destabilizing actor that wants to, uh, has uh, designs on Indian territory, designs on Taiwan, and in other places in Asia. Please. All right, Edward, thank you very much for being with us on this broadcast and all your valued insights and analysis. You're welcome. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.